All right, great. We're recording. What'd you say? I'm sorry. They have their own lawyer as well. So, and she's going to send me that information later. Oh, you mean for closing? Are they local? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. They can use whoever they want. We just advise them to use our folks because most people, 99%. Okay, have you done the working with real estate agents? Yep. And then I sent that out. Yep. So we're doing the exclusive buyer agency agreement. First thing you need to do is make sure you've got them added in the loop, which you've already done, which is obviously important. So we're just going to come back up here to the buyer agency agreement. When did you create this loop? Um, maybe like 20 minutes ago. Okay, good. So it's got, I wanted to see if we had the 2020 forms in here. That's all. So basically this is plug and play for the most part. There are a couple of things that are going to be specific to every person, but for okay. the most part, it's going to be the same for everybody that you fill out except for dates, et cetera. So you're just going to go up here and click as you go through. So today is the 17th. That's when we're starting. What are their names? Um, Elisa and Dan, Dan, sorry, Daniel. How do you spell? I want to get it right. It is um, E L E I S A. Same last name. Uh, yep, Bennett. B E N N E T T. Yes, sir. Okay, and then so it's the date for today that you're writing it, your clients' names, and then the firm. So it'll always be Oceanair Realty because the way that things are written, it's with the firm and not with a particular agent. Okay. And then we're going to come down to residential. And just click that box because we're only talking about a residential property. Okay. Um, and then for general location, we're going to put regional and triangle MLS areas. So they're covered for our team and all the areas we serve, basically. Okay. And you just leave other blank. The term of the agreement will begin today. Typically, um, we, and this is new with this year. So it's for buyers who intend to purchase a single property, like we talked about the other day or multiple, these folks look like they're just doing one. So you just put, you just click this one, the first box. And then we're just going to pick a date that this agreement expires. Typically, uh, a standard is like six months. Okay. Um, if you're working with clients and you know, they're like a watch and they're going to be a lot further out, I'll do a year okay. for somebody like this, who we're no, we're writing an offer today you might want to just do say three months just so we've got plenty of time to make sure in case we write the offer for a little bit longer, if it doesn't work out or they need a little bit um, longer closing date, you're covered because you want to be covered through the end of closing. So I would just come in and go one, two, three, and then just pick October 17th. Now you can also do it for a particular property is what they will allow you to do as well. In that case, because you might get somebody who's like, well, I'm not going to sign an agreement. And then you're like, well, you have to for me to actually write a contract and submit it on your behalf. Okay, well, I'll only do it for this property. Or sometimes you'll tell people, okay, well, we'll just do it for this property, right? To test close them to see if they're serious. In that instance, you can just put uh, in the general location, you can just put the actual address of the one property. Okay. You can also do it for a day or a week. So if you get people who are pushing back on you, like, I don't want to sign agency, be like, look, we can do it just for today. Okay. Or we can just do it for a week and we can try each other out. And if we don't feel good about it at the end of the week, we can go our separate ways. No harm, no foul. But at least this way you're protected right. as well for the properties that we see. That's a reasonable thing to ask. Okay. So just so you know. Um, firm acknowledges a non-refundable retainer. We don't do that. So you just put NA in there. Um, Buyer agrees that firm's fee for services shall be in the amount of, so this is where we're going to put the range of the typical commissions. So we'll say, say 2.4 to 3%. Okay. Um, and then you'll sign here and then they'll sign here. Now, one thing that I do say you do, Megan, is go in and actually assign for a particular person. Don't just leave it open for buyer so they can sign either one. Go ahead and assign each one to each person and make it consistent throughout. And also, if you only have one person signing, make sure that you assign it to no one. Okay. Because if you leave it open-ended, they could sign it twice, and then you got to go back and uh, assign it and all that stuff. Okay. 
Um, if within 90 days of this agreement, that's what we use here, it just says if they go into contract for a property that you've shown them without signing agency with another agent that you've earned your commission. So that's to protect you um, from them, like trying to go back to the seller after your agency agreement expires and say, okay, now I don't have that agent anymore. Can we do it for less and cut you out? So we'll always use 90 days there. Okay. Same thing on this page. That's going to be you and that's going to be them. You always want to check these three boxes because you should provide them with all three of these. Okay. They're all in the buyer packet that we have that we print out and give to them. You yeah. can also share them through the loop as well. So if you don't meet somebody in person or you're not able to give them the buyer packet when you meet, just make sure that you send them through the loop so there's evidence that they got it, but also just make sure all three of these are checked. Okay. Home warranty, we don't do uh, anything. As for, I mean, we offer a home warranty, but we don't get any compensation from it. So we just say NA. Okay. There are no additional provisions for this. Um, like we're requesting that they do something for our service or anything like that. So. And then same thing here, just to sign that. Um, for this, this is saying the type of agency, okay? It's always going to be the first one, dual agency. Now, while we don't do dual agency as far as one agent representing both sides of the transaction, we do do it as a team. So that's why we have them sign the first line here. Okay. And then you just want to make sure that the second, I got to fix that, that the second and the third ones are assigned to nobody. Come on, this is being a pain. <laughs> okay, there we go. So just the first one there. Dual agency compensation. So this is just saying that if they were buying one of our listings, um, that the overall compensation is typically 6% okay. for all for the total. Um, and that's always going to be the same. You'll always put the same thing there for that too. So a lot of this stuff is not going to deviate except for maybe the area in particular and the dates and of course the people. There's nothing really to complete on this page except for this. And then on the last page here, you don't really need to put their names in there. You just need to make sure that it's assigned. You mm -hmm. can't be like, you don't need to put their contact information. If you like, if it was an entity buying it, like somebody's buying an investment property, they've got an LLC or something like that, mm -hmm. the name of their LLC here, and then you would still add them as a person to the loop. And then you would just assign their signature in this section here. Okay. And then here at the bottom, you do want to populate all this. So the Oceaneer Realty, remember our firm license number because you're going to need it for every one of these you do. C28119. Okay. You can go ahead and put our um, office address. And then you're going to sign here. And then what's your license number? Um, three one nine eight three seven, I believe. Let me double check it. Commit that to memory because you're going to need it for every one of these two. Oh gosh, my phone updated, so everything's harder to find now. Three one nine eight three seven. That's what I've got. Okay. Cool. So after you do that, you can you just hit save, and can I go ahead and send it to them? Yes. All right, and then you just hit share. Make sure both boxes are checked. Make sure it's moved to can sign. Okay. And, and there you go. And that's it. That's filling out the buyer agency agreement. Any questions? No, sir. All right.